Commission Marine Corps Lee Capesca Detachment 1079 for your service. This non-conference game features a visiting Sunshine Bible Academy Crusaders and your Great Plains Wizard Panthers. The two schools participating in this event are members of the South Dakota High School Activities Association, which has adopted the rules under which the game is played. The strong commitment to excellence, fair play, and sportsmanship are all vital to this activity's success. Everyone is expected to respect the officials and support the teams with positive, enthusiastic cheering. We'll now reduce the starting light of for each team. Here are the starting offense for Sunshine Bible Crusaders. A wide receiver, a 5'11 sophomore, number 28, Terrence Mickelson. At tight end, a 6'2 junior, number 31, Tanner Fox. At running back, a 5'10 senior, number 38, Troy Paul. At wide receiver, a 6'2 senior, number 47, Anthony Mitchell. At quarterback, a 6'2 junior, number 50, Trey Thieman. At guard, a 5'11 senior, number 62, Trevor Nelson. At center, a 5'9 junior, number 70, Hunter Seabism. At tight end, 6'4 junior, number 88, Jimmy Burma. At guard, a 5'11 junior, number 95, Ross Vanderborst. The Crusaders are coached by assistants Jason and Jace Burma and head coach Denver Paul. Here's the starting defense for your GPL Panthers. And linebacker, a 6'1 senior, number 10, Martin Krenz. And linebacker, a 5'10 senior, number 12, Thomas Erickson. At defensive line, a 6'1 junior, number 18, Austin Rubendahl. At defensive line, a 6'3 senior, number 20, Jacob Bartels. At defensive back, a 5'10 junior, number 21, Micah Holy. At defensive line, a 6'3 senior, number 22, Miles York. At linebacker, a 5'10 junior, number 31, Colin Wall. At defensive line, a 5'10 senior, number 33, Jasper Cody. At defensive back, a 6'2 senior, number 81, Alex Heil. The Panthers are coached by assistants Jason Bartels, Pierce Holding, Darren Mack, Keith Mull, Rob Milner, and Michael Scar. And your head coach for the Panthers, Aaron Schleuser. The game will be officiated today by Steve Van Hurdy, Troy Johnson, Paul Schmidt, Ross Epley, and David Rulia. Thank you for your service. And now let's enjoy some high school football. Okay, everyone, we're ready for high school football. Great Plains Lutheran Panthers from Watertown Stadium. Homecoming Saturday for the Great Plains Lutheran High School Panthers. Their opponent, Sunshine Bible Academy from Miller, the Crusaders. Captains will be walking out to the field here in just a moment. Weather report today from Watertown. In one word, beautiful. I would say 70 degrees, maybe pushing that a little bit. Some sun, some clouds, a very light breeze. Almost perfect. In fact, I talked to Coach Aaron Schleusner before the game, and that's what he said. The only thing missing is lights to make it the ideal football setting. But we're thankful for this beautiful day today. The phone says 67. So the captains out there for Great Plains. We'll see who kicks off, who receives this. Brody Charlemagne, Austin Rubendahl, Miles York, Jacob Bartels. Great Plains looking for win number two on the season. Sunshine Bible still looking for win number one. Glad to have you along wherever you may be watching this, whether it's live or recorded. I know a lot of you do that after you get home and watch the game. Great Plains is pretty healthy. And they will be receiving. Panthers will receive the opening kickoff. 
the rundown of Sunshine Bible scores on the season. They lost to Viberg Hurley 54-0, Jones County 56-6, and two weeks ago, they lost to Sully Buttes, put up 32 points, gave up 62. They were off last week. Panthers one and three, they'll be off next week. And then they'll finish at Florence Henry, home against Hamlin and Hitchcock Tulare. I'm not sure where that one is. Last year that game was in Brookings. Looks like this year it'll be away for the Panthers. So two home games left today and then the Hamlin home game, two away games left at Florence and at Hitchcock. Alex Heil back deep for Great Plains Lutheran along with Grayson Leans, two new return men. A lot of times it's been Ryan Jenstead, he's out with an injury, and Micah Holeen. They kick off from the 40 in high school. Anthony Mitchell kicking off for Sunshine Bible Academy and homecoming 2023 is underway. Bounces over Hiles' head. It'll be a touchback, and the Panthers will bring out the offense. Quarterback Brody Charlemagne getting the play from Coach Schleusener, and then he'll run it out to the huddle. The Panthers will start first and 10 at the 20. Pitch to Erickson, running to the near side. Cuts back, nice gain, good for a first down. Thomas Erickson, the ball carrier for nice gain, brought down by number 38, Troy Paul. Up to the 31. That's enough for a Panther. Good to see Thomas back in the lineup. Brody keeps it this time, left side run, another first down, about the same thing, 11 yards. Brody keeps the ball for a nice game, number 47, Anthony Mitchell with the tackle. We'll give him 10 right at the first down stick. It's first down for Great Plains at their own 42. I set in the backfield, Cohen Mull and Erickson. Give to Erickson up the middle, big hole. I don't know if that's gonna be 11 or 10, but it's uh, very near that first down stick. Another first down, three plays, three first downs. And that's enough for another. Center William Krenz opened up that hole right up the gut. First and 10 again, pitch to Micah running left. Big opening, cuts back, still on his feet, down to the 35, inside the 35-yard line. Four plays, four first downs. Good crowd. A lot of Panther fans in the stands today. From the 32, up the middle. First time they touch the ball today and don't get a first down, but still a good gain by Cohen Mull. Brought down right at the 25.
Alex Heil split wide to the near side. Another run. Micah cut back, looking to get outside left side. Breaks the tackle to the 10, 5, reaches across. Touchdown. Touchdown, Panthers. Micah Holina on the carry. 25-yard run. Drive took two and a half minutes. Try for two. Erickson and Mull in the backfield. Shotgun this time. Brody, handoff. Mull bounces off a tackle, gets the two point conversion. 9 31 left first quarter. Panthers 8 0. 80-yard drive. Six plays. All runs. Great Plains kicker Austin Rubendahl will kick from the 40. Can't start any better than that. Anthony Mitchell, the deep man for Sunshine Bible. He'll be at the 15. There's the first B here in the press box. We'll see how many I kill today. Taken by up back. He's hit at the 40, pushed back. Good tackle, Miles York. There's one. All right, Sunshine will start first and 10, their own 40. Quarterback is Troy Tiemann. He's a junior, 6'2", 165. Tight formation. Fullback takes the carry. Short gain. Guess he got hit and dropped the ball, and the Panthers picked it up. Micah Holine picks up a fumble, and the Panthers will take it over. Plus territory. Troy Paul was hit right away, lost the ball. Micah picked it up. Panthers take over at the 42. I set in the backfield. Brody back to pass for the first time. And he's going to be brought down for a loss. Didn't have quite enough time to look downfield. Alex Heil was down there. Bartell's down there. Loss of one, maybe two. From the 44, second and 12. Pitch to Micah Holine, cut back, nice cut back. Room to run, makes a man miss and gets a first down. Needed 12, I think he got 12 and a half. Kanichi on the stop. Looks like Mike is feeling better too. He also was banged up.
8-14 left first quarter. Panthers up 8-0. Fullback dive, not much up the middle. Grayson leans as met right away. Picked up one. Second and nine from the 30. Alex Heil split wide to the left. I set behind Charlemagne. He'll pitch to Micah running left. Has room to run, makes a move, gets outside, dives ahead, first down. Pushed out by Ezra Stiglmeyer. Ball spotted right at the 20. Brody from the shotgun, slot receiver left in motion. That's Erickson, he'll get the pitch. Almost mishandled it, flag on the play. Loss on the play. Play is a loss of four. Penalties on great playing, so Sunshine either takes the four yard loss or the penalty. Holding on the Panthers. Holding on the Panthers. They'll decline the penalty, take the four yard loss. It is declined. Brings up second down for the Panthers. Maybe a five yard loss. Back to the 25, second and 15 from there. So they could have had first and 20. They chose instead second and 15. First time we've seen receivers split to both sides. Brody from the shotgun. Leans in tight in the backfield. Micah in motion, fake pitch to him. Brody looking to run right. Made the first man miss. And then he's brought down for a short gain. Anthony Mitchell on the tackle. Gained a half a yard at the most. So third and long, third and 15 from the 25. 6.15 to play first quarter. Heil split wide to the left. Two backs behind Brody under center. Pitch to Erickson running left. Cuts back, gets inside the 20, close to the 15. Fourth and six. Panthers will be going for it, it looks like. Let's see what happens here if Brody puts it up in the air. Attempted one pass today, but he didn't get the pass off. One pass play, but he had to keep it and was sacked for a short loss. So he's from the shotgun, fourth and six. Holine in motion, Brody wants to throw. Gets it to Micah at the 10, five. He's in for a touchdown. Brody made it look like he wanted to throw downfield and Micah slipped out in the flat on the right side, caught the pass and was in standing for a touchdown. 14-0. Panthers will go for two. Shotgun. Yeah. 
Brody rolling to the right, looking to pass, throws it back of the end zone. It is caught for the two-point conversion. No, they say he was out. Caught by Martin Kranz, but they said he stepped out before he controlled the ball, so the conversion fails. And 4.55 to play first quarter. Great Plains Lutheran 14, Sunshine Bible Academy 0. Forty-five yard drive there for the Panthers after that fumble by Sunshine on their first offensive play. They've had one offensive play today. I look over at that sideline for Sunshine. It looks like about ten on the sideline. So nineteen twenty players suited up today. Great Plains probably. 30, 25. From the 40, Rubendahl will kick off. Back deep for Sunshine is Anthony Mitchell. And he will run for it, pick it up inside the 15. 25. Brought down short of the 30. Salisbury, Cameron in on the tackle. Aiden Cameron, Samuel Salisbury. Aiden Cameron and Samuel Salisbury. All right, Crusaders will start first and 10 at their own 28 yard line. Tight formation. Short gain, gang tackle there. Erickson was there, Miles York was there. Paul brought down, gain of four. Maybe five. Second down from the 33. Very tight formation. Unbalanced line. They'll run right. Not much. Miles York was there. Rubendahl was there. Third and five. Teeman back to pass, throws downfield, broken up. Intended for Jimmy Burma. Coverage there was Alex Heil. Let's see what Sunshine does on fourth down and five from their own 33. Micah Holine will go back if it is a punt. Flag on the play. Could be an illegal substitution. Illegal substitution will push him back five yards. I think what happened is they huddled up and then someone left the huddle too late, I think. They'll punt, Micah back deep at midfield. Now it's fourth and nine. 
I don't know if they were going to punt originally or not, but they are now. Punt is away. A wobbler. Michael lets uh, that's Erickson back deep. He'll let it bounce. Takes a Panther bounce, and it will be downed at the 42-yard line. 3.30 to play first quarter. 14-0, Great Plains. The only problem today is the bees. We were minding our business today, having a having a grill out in Watertown, and the bees were swarming, and they're still here at the stadium too. Panthers will go from the 43, first and 10. Erickson in the backfield with Cohen Mull. Heil split wide to the right side. Brody under center. Up the middle, Erickson, room to run, breaks a tackle at midfield, gets into Sunshine Bible territory. Good, strong run right up the middle. Got it all the way down to the 43. Yards are piling up early for for Thomas Erickson. 40 yards on five carries. Up the middle again, big hole. That time it was Cohen Mull. Went for 10 more. Ball carrier Cohen Mull brought down by. Interior line there for the Panthers, Miles York. Jacob Bartels, William Krenz. Jasper Cody. Timeout. Crusaders will take a timeout. 2.38 to play first quarter. Panthers on the march again. Coach for Sunshine Bible Academy, Denver Paul. All right, first and 10, 32-yard line for the Panthers. Charlemagne under center. He'll pitch outside to Thomas Erickson. Big hole on the left side. He's got one man to beat, and he beat him, and he's going in for a big touchdown run. 32 yards for Thomas Erickson. Ups the score to 20-0. Brody read it beautifully. Well-timed pitch just out in front of Thomas, so he didn't have to slow down at all. Beat him all around the end and turned down the speed and went in for a touchdown. Panthers for two. Brody back to pass, wide open. Alex Heil, he caught it. Two-point conversion, good. Extra point converted, Charlemagne Tahilo. And so far, it's all great planes, 22-0, late in the first quarter. Our first winner in our homecoming alumni prize drawing is Caleb Roberts. Congratulations. 
Congratulations, Caleb, from the GPL class of 2020. 55-yard drive, I think. Thomas, six carries, 72 yards today. Long of 32, that touchdown run. Micah, four carries, 64 yards. So the Panthers, between those two, 136 yards rushing. They've had more than that from others. Probably 175, 180 already in the first quarter. Anthony Mitchell back deep will await Rubendahl's kick. Squig kip on the ground. They'll jump on it. Mishandled, and then he did the right thing and just jumped on it. it Terrence Mickelson, Michelson, sorry. So the Crusaders will start at the 31. A little different formation this time. They'll send two wide to the left side. Shotgun. Good snap. Teeman's pass is complete. No, he dropped it. Incomplete. Tended for Mitchell. Micah was right there. Second and ten. This time, two will be split to the right side. Shotgun again for Teeman. He wants to throw again. And he's going to instead tuck it and run. Miles York, Martin Krenz make the tackle. Quarterback keeper brought down by Miles York. Gain of five. Third and five here from the 36-yard line. Third down and six for the Crusaders. Team in from the shotgun. Receivers split to the far side. He wants to throw again. Downfield, incomplete. Tended for Jimmy Burma, broken up there by Holine and Erickson. Let's see what Sunshine does here on fourth down. Fourth and five. Brings up fourth down and six. Looks like they'll punt. Punter is Anthony Mitchell. Micah Holine back deep at the 30. Offsides. That could give him a first down. Panthers jumped. Five yard walk off. Let's see. Half a yard short. Looks like now they might go for it. They're always told in that situation to watch the ball, not listen to the quarterback. Okay, they'll go for it. Tight formation, fourth and less than one. 
Handoff up the middle, and he surges ahead. I think, yes, he does. First down, tackle there by Krenz. Paul gets the first down. That's their first first down, and the drive will continue at the 43. Costly penalty on the Panthers. Shotgun formation. Paul will carry around the side. And he's hit at the midfield stripe. And there's a flag on the play in the backfield. Brought down by number 32 and number 10 for the Panthers. Nice gain. Holding on Sunshine Bible. Seven yard pickup will be erased on a holding penalty on Sunshine. That's a big one. Instead of second and three, it's going to be first and 20. They'll march him back all the way to the 33. First down in the country mile for the Crusaders. Two receivers split to the far side. Teaming again under the shotgun. He'll roll. Now he looks to pass as he's hit. It falls incomplete. Pass incomplete. Pressure, Pressure put on by 20, Jacob, Bartels. Jacob Bartels and Jasper Cody. So Teeman has tried four passes, has yet to complete one. Second and 20 coming up. Half a minute left, first quarter. Timeout taken by Sunshine Bible Academy. Timeout Crusaders, 35 seconds. That's their second timeout. First I mentioned the Panthers will be off next week. So they will have two weeks to practice before their next game at Florence Henry. Who I believe is still looking for their first win. They lost last night to Waverly South Shore. Yeah, they're 0-4. One game at a time. Right now it's Sunshine Bible. Second and 20. Two receivers to the right side. Teaming under uh, shotgun. He's a junior quarterback, 6'2", under pressure again. And he's going to go down for a loss. First one there, Austin Rubendahl. Quarterback sacked by Austin Big Rubendahl loss. And Jacob Bartels. Bartels was also there. They've got a pass catcher out there, number 88, Jimmy Burma. He's a big target, 6'4", 190. He's a junior. But they have yet to hook up. Third and 20, loss of 10. They need to get across midfield for a first down. This time, no, that's the end of the first quarter. End of the first quarter, score from Watertown Stadium. Great Plains Lutheran, 22, Sunshine Bible Academy, zero. Thanks for coming back and supporting Panther Athletics. Thank you very much.
All right, third and long for Sunshine Bible, third and 20 from their own 26. Troy Tiemann, shotgun, receiver split to both sides. Man in motion, shotgun snap, downfield pass, intercepted. Alex Heil, he's got some room to run. Still on his feet, pushed out. The 20 yard line. Turnover number two for Sunshine Bible. Heil brings it back 30 some yards all the way down to the 21. It's kind of like a punt on third and long, which isn't the worst thing except that Alex ran it back 30 some yards. So Charlemagne from the shotgun. Different formation here for the Panthers. In motion is Erickson. He'll get the handoff, running left, tries to get outside. Got a man to beat. Gets it inside the five-yard line. Then he dropped the ball, and Sunshine Bible picks up a fumble. He lost the ball, and Sunshine picks it up at the two-yard line, maybe the three. Picked up by Terrence Michelson. First Panther turnover. They're pinned deep, but they got the ball back. It's marked at the three yard line. Back to that tight formation. Under center, Tiemann. Handoff, not much. Big hit at the line, Grayson leans. That was Michelson on the carry. Troy Paul on the carry. No game. No, they gave him one, second and nine. Loose ball, still loose. I think the Panthers might have jumped on that one. They did. Bottom of the pile was Jacob Bartels. Quarterback lost the ball and the Panthers get it right back. And they'll have a first and goal. So we've had three turnovers in the last four plays. Turnover number three for Sunshine Bible. Panthers will start first and goal just outside the five yard line. Holine in the backfield with Cohen Mull from an eye set. Mull up the middle, touchdown, Great Plains. Touchdown. Untouched, just about in the end zone. Late flag on the play. Holding on Great Plains will wipe off, take off Holding the penalty, uh, touchdown. Push him back 10 yards. Maybe that's why the hole was so big. So they'll mark it outside the 15 yard line. It'll be first and goal from there. Same formation, eyes set. Mull again up the middle, this time left side, stumbles across the 15, near the 10. Looks like they'll mark him at the 12, where it will be second and goal. Goal. 
Sunshine really needs a stop here. Brody will go from the shotgun. He's got receivers split to both sides. Mull in the backfield. That's Erickson in motion. Brody will keep it around the left side. Cut back. Now goes back outside. Cuts back again and is brought down inside the 10-yard line. Stuart Smith on the tackle. And the Panthers will face a third and goal from the seven-yard line. 9.45 to play in the first half. Panthers up 22-0. Charlene will go up under center with an eye set. Alex Heil split wide to the right. The ball's on the ground, and Erickson will just jump on it. Not sure if that was a, a pitch or a, or a screen pass. I guess it was a fumble because he lost yardage, so it's not an incomplete pass. Thomas jumped on a... Fumble at the 10, fourth and goal from the 10. They'll go for it. Alex Heil split wide left. Brody under center. Back to pass, looks Heil's way, throws it his way. He's open, caught, touchdown. Both feet in, 10-yard touchdown pass. That drive started at the at the three, but because of the penalty, it was a little bit more challenging than that. And the result, 10-yard touchdown pass. Alex Heil with a touchdown, a two-point conversion, and an interception so far today. Panthers will try for two. Micah Holine goes into the end zone. Two-point conversion. Score, Great Plains, 30-0. 8.48 to go, first half. The juniors would like to thank you for supporting their class fundraiser. On behalf of their fundraiser, they'll be handing out or throwing out some candy during halftime. Thank you. Coming up also on Thursday of this week, Volleyball will be at Waverly South Shore starting at 5 o'clock. And also we've got Grandparents Day coming up on Friday the 22nd of September. All right, I don't know if you heard that or not, but Grandparents Day at Great Plains Lutheran this coming Friday. Rubendahl kicking off from the 40. Last time he did a squib kick. See what they have in mind this time. Back deep is Mitchell. Short kick is going to go out, and that's a penalty on Great Plains. And Sunshine will start this drive, I think, at the 30, yeah, the 35 yard line. Ball went out at the 25. Kickoff goes out of bounds. The other team, receiving team, automatically gets the ball to start their drive at the 35, I believe. That is if it goes out of bounds and is not touched by anyone. So the Crusaders will start first and 10 at the 35. Uh, 
from the shotgun, Troy Teeman. Two backs back there, low snap. He has to keep it himself. Bit of a broken play, and he will be hit for a loss. I think he wanted to hand that one off, but he mishandled the snap, which was low. And he took it himself, and Micah Holine brought him down and help from Martin Krenz. Loss of one. Mitchell split wide to the right. Teeman under shotgun. Hand off to Paul, and he's going to be hit and pushed back by Bartels and York. Leans was also there. Gain of 82. So third and nine. From the shotgun, Troy Teeman, third and nine. Receiver split wide, far side. And that's going to be a first down. Pitch to Stiglmeyer, and he will carry it for a first down. Tackled by Ryan Jenstead. Sunshine gets their second first down. From the 47. Shotgun snap, Teeman gives to Paul. He's across midfield, still spinning and fighting and churning. And they'll stop him there at the 45. Troy Paul, he's a junior. Strong run, short of a first down. It'll be second and one. Paul, seven carries now, 20 yards. All right, we'll say second and two from the 45. Teeman from a shotgun. He wants to throw, being chased, throws on the run, overshot his man. Pass broken up by Erickson, intended for number 88, Jimmy Burma. Lucas Johnson applies pressure to the quarterback. And now it will be third and two. Five fifty four to play first half. Shotgun. Handoff up the middle. Should be a first down. Stegelmeyer on the carry. Brought down by Rubendahl. And that's a first down. Brought down by Austin Rubendahl. Second first down on this drive, puts the ball at the Panther 40. From the shotgun, Team is back to pass, now being chased, he'll keep it, tuck it, run it. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. Falls ahead for maybe one. Cohen Mull was there. Micah Holine. One yard gain. Thirty-one. 
Second and nine. Shotgun snap, inside handoff. Tackle there by Mull again. Troy Paul on the carry, short gain. A yard or two on the carry. Sunshine Bible facing third and eight from the 38 yard line. Team in with a shotgun. Mitchell split wide here to the near side, inside handoff, room to run. Near the first down stick. That's Paul again on the carry. They'll whistle him down at the 30, and he'll be right at the stick. They're saying fourth down, he's short. Maybe by the length of the football. So let's see what happens here. Fourth and less than one for Sunshine. Just outside the 30 yard line. Salisbury, Krenz digging in on the line for the Panthers and Rubendahl. Under center. Fullback carries, hit, push back, I don't know. That initial surge might have got it. Looks like they're marking it right at the 30. And it's a first down. Needed a foot and got a foot. 10 carries now for Paul. 39 yards. Drive continues, three first downs on this drive. Team in this time under center, back to that tight formation they started with. Team in's gonna keep it, running left, cuts back inside, picks up a few. Rubendahl, the tackler. Gain of five, second and five from the 25. 25. Two minutes, 10 seconds left, the clock is running. Late here, second quarter. Tight formation. Good drive here for Sunshine Bible. Mishandled snap. Teeman gets away, throws incomplete. A lot of pressure, hit hard, Miles York. He mishandled that snap and that Slowed the play down, incomplete pass. Teeman looks like he's okay, fell hard on the shoulder. Still looking for that first completed pass, they're 0 for 7. So now it's third and five. Tight formation. Team in under center. He'll drop back to pass. Throws near the end zone. It's broken up by Micah Holine. Intended for Burma. Micah just jumped up and batted it down. That came with 146 to play in the first half. And the Crusaders will go fourth and five. They are with one timeout left. This might be a time to take it. We'll see. Yep, they're going to take it. Panthers have all three of their timeouts left. So see what Coach Schleusner does with those with 146 to play first half. It's been all great planes, 30 to zero. Although this drive here for Sunshine has saw them get a number of first downs, their best drive of the day so far. They put up 32 points two weeks ago against Sully Buttes. So they can score some points.
On the other side, Great Plains with uh, one shutout. Their win was a shutout, if I, if I remember right, that game against Waverly. Or did Waverly get a late touchdown? I'll double check. It was a shutout. Panthers won that 46-0. All right, here we go, fourth and five. Oh, they're going to try a field goal. This will be a 42-yard field goal attempt. The kicker is Anthony Mitchell. The holder is Michelson. Snap is good. Down, kick is on the way, moving left. Distance was there, but it went left, and it's no good. Had the distance, plenty of distance, but it curved left, and Great Plains will take over on downs at the 25-yard line. Time to work with 139 in the first half. Already leading 30 to zero. Brody at quarterback, pro set in the backfield. Shotgun snap. Erickson with the carry, not much. Clock running under 130 to play in the half. Four yard gain. Thomas is near 100 yards in the first half, over 90 now. Brody up under center, eyes set in the backfield on second and six. Pitch to Micah Holine, cuts back, cuts back again. He's got one man to beat on the right side and he beat him. Down the sideline goes Micah, 76 yards, touchdown. 76 yards. Initially came left, cut back, and went down the right sideline. Third touchdown from Micah Holeen. Panthers will go for two. Pitch to Erickson, and he's hit at the goal line, but he goes forward for the two-point conversion. Strong run. 38-0 Panthers. So if you're wondering here, Panther fans, I've been giving you some numbers today. No, I'm not keeping stats. There's someone up here next to me doing that for me. It is just a perfect day for high school football. Now the, the players might say it's 5, 10 degrees too warm, but it is nice. Yeah. 
Austin Rubendahl will kick off from the 40. Last time he kicked it out of bounds. Let's see what he does here. Down the middle. Dropped, picked up by Mitchell from the 15. 25-30. 35-40, and the kicker brings him down. Flag on the play. Three flags. That, I think, is going to be the horse collar tackle. Rubendahl, the kicker, made the tackle. And I think he grabbed him from the back, and they're going to get a horse collar tackle, which will be personal foul, 15 additional yards. So Sunshine's going to start in plus territory with 37 seconds to play in the first half. Strong return there by Mitchell. They'll walk it all the way to the Panther, 42. No timeouts left, 37 seconds. Still looking for that first completed pass. Tight formation. Teeman, option, pitch, loose ball, scooped up by Micah finally. Oh, that's Erickson, and he's got one man there, and that one man makes a nice tackle. Turnover by Sunshine on the pitch play. There's almost a scoop and a score. Thomas couldn't quite corral that ball in time. By the time he did, the, the white shirts were in pursuit. But he does bring it all the way down to the 13-yard line. And still time here for the Panthers. 24 seconds to play, first half. Already with a big lead. Turnover number four for Sunshine Bible. Heil split wide to the left. Brody will give to the... Fullback, and he's hit and dropped for a short gain. Leans on the carry. Clock is running. They're going to try to get a playoff. Won't take a timeout. Eight, seven, six. Looks like they'll get one snap. Just before the half ends, Micah Holine. He's going to go for it, and he dives in the end zone for a touchdown as the first half clock expires. Touchdown number four for Micah. He's back today. Panthers will try for two on what will be the final play of the first half. Try for two, Brody under center. Up the middle. That was Grayson Leans, and he is stopped short. So the end of the first half, it's Great Plains Lutheran 44, Sunshine Bible Academy zero. We'll take a break here and come back and give you some first half stats and then see how long we'll play in the third quarter. The Junior's Halloween, the Sophomore's Independence Day, and the
Welcome back. First half stats. Sunshine Bible, Troy Paul, 10 carries, 29 yards. Quarterback, Troy Tiemann, Trey Tiemann, 5 for 4 yards. Ezra Stigelmeyer, 2 carries, 16 yards. That's 17 carries, 49 yards. Passing 0 for 8 with an interception. And they've been undone by four turnovers. For the Panthers, Thomas Erickson, eight carries, 93 yards. He had a long one, touchdown. Micah Holine, another long one. He had a 76-yard touchdown, four touchdowns. Six carries total, 153 yards. Quarterback Brody, four carries, 17 yards. Cohen Mull, three for 21. Grayson Leans, two for four yards, 23 carries. Panthers, 288 yards rushing. Passing for the Panthers, Charlemagne to Alex Heil. He caught both of them, so Brody's a perfect two for two. 26 yards, including a touchdown pass. Panthers been penalized four times, and they have the one turnover. The Panthers will kick off to start the second half. If I remember right, they received. And they get one touchdown, and this game will be over. Unless, of course, Sunshine scores first. Speaking of sunshine, I went out in the stands at halftime, and it's, it's warm out there. There is a nice breeze, though. Probably mid-70s. Let's see what the phone says here for Watertown. I know a lot of you are not here in Watertown. It's nice across the whole Midwest. Phone says 69. How about a weather report? Tomorrow's sunny and 70 in Watertown. Mid-70s, maybe in the 80s on Tuesday. Looks like the 70s as far as we can see, except for a, a mid-80 day on Tuesday. Why did the gargoyle put his job All right, they just put more time on the clock. He was tired of Before we start the second half. The PA man is telling jokes. I have no jokes for you. All right, here's something for you. It's the top 16 teams in 9AA go to the playoffs. And right now, coming into today, there's 22 teams, and Great Plains is 18. So they'll pick up a win today. It's going to be tough. They'll have to win, of course, next game, Florence Henry. And they got Hamlin, who's one of the, if not the best team in the state. And then Hitchcock Tulare. If they can find a way to win two of their last three, that, that would get them in. That will not be easy. They've got a shot. Hamlin is 5-0. and oh. Hitchcock Tulare is a class below them. They're 3-2, and two, if I'm not mistaken. But first, it's second half here, and then in two weeks, Florence Henry. That'll be on the road. Then they come back and play Hamlin at home on that following Saturday again, and then they close out the season at Hitchcock on a Friday night.
Panthers take the field. They will be kicking off to start the second half. Rubendahl will be kicking back deep for Sunshine. Will be Anthony Mitchell. All right, second half is underway. The kick is a short squibber picked up by one of the upbacks. He's hit and pushed back and stays on his feet. He'll give the 36-yard line. Panthers do have a JV game this week. I think it's Monday against Dubrook. All right, Sunshine Bible will start at the 36-yard line. Tight formation. Give to the up back. Hit and dropped at the line of scrimmage. First man there was Rubendahl. York also there. Alex Heil. Paul on the carry. Trying to walk something off. Here comes Aiden Cameron, a freshman lineman in the game for the Panthers. Timeout, Sunshine Bible. This could be because of the injury. The runner came up pretty slowly, and Sunshine will take a timeout. All right, here we go, second and 10 for the Crusaders from the 35-yard line. Tight formation, Stigelmeyer and Michelson in the backfield. Trade team and the quarterback will go from the shotgun. No, they do have a receiver split wide left. Teeman will hand off, Stigelmeyer. Not much there. That, that was Michelson. In fact, he's going to lose a little bit. Ran right into Bartels. Loss of two on the play. So third and 12. Justin Tucker checks in for the Panthers. He'll play the middle. Teaming from the shotgun. He's back to pass. Now he looks to run, and he's going nowhere. He's brought down by Rubendahl. Brought down by Aiden Cameron. And Not much Rubendahl. chance there. The rush was there about the time he caught the snap, and it's fourth and long. And Sunshine Bible will punt. And for the Erickson back deep. Holine back there is the up back. Panthers need one touchdown to send everybody home. Mitchell the punter. Snap is good. Punt is a high wobbler, short. And will bounce out at the 43 yard line. Out of the 
All right, new quarterback, it looks like, for the Panthers here in the third quarter, Jarrett Bauer. He's a sophomore. He's going to run the offense. Panthers from the 43. Eye set, receiver split wide to the right side. Handoff up the middle. That's Grayson Leans. Gets to the 35. Eight yard gain, second and two for the Panthers. I set in the backfield behind Bauer. Mull and Leans, the running backs. Alex Heil split wide left. Handoff goes to the up back. That's Mull, and he gets a big gain up the middle, inside the 20, down to the 15-yard line. 20-yard nice gain, and the Panthers 15 yards away from ending today's game. Justin Tucker goes in. Here comes Logan Bergen. First and 10 from the 15. Tucker in the backfield with Leans. Split wide is Bergen. That was Leans on the carry. No gain on the play. Cohen now with four carries, 40 yards after that big 20-yarder. Grayson four for 12. Second and 10 from the 15. Tristan Pitts checks in. Tucker leans in the backfield. Pitt split wide. Bauer gives to Tucker up the middle, makes a move, makes a man miss, lost the ball. Sunshine will recover inside the five-yard line. Would have been good for a first down, but he lost the ball. And Sunshine will take it at the four-yard line. Recovered by Trevor Leswich. Five minutes to play, third quarter. Tight formation for Sunshine Bible. Quarterback Teeman under center, tight. Inside handoff. Tackle by Tyler Broomer. Gain of five on the play, second and five for Sunshine at the eight or nine yard line. Second down and five for the Crusaders. Twelfth carry there for Troy, Troy Paul. There they go again, running up the middle. That was Troy Paul again. Shorter gain. He's been the workhorse today for Sunshine. Troy Paul, 13 carries, 36 yards. All right, third and two for Sunshine at the 13-yard line. Tight formation. Panthers, a lot of new players in on defense. Option play, there's the pitch. Loose, picked up, Panthers. Recovery by... Recovered by Logan Bergen. He's a freshman. Number 16, Logan and the Bergen. Panthers will take over at the 10 yard line, just inside the 10. It'll be first and goal. Panthers 
have first and goal from the 10 yard line. Three twenty to play in the third quarter. Timeout? No. Yeah, timeout. Panthers will take a timeout. Timeout called by the Crusaders. Looks Our like Bauer will stay in at quarterback. Panthers looking to get the clinching touchdown and in the game. Oh, a shout out to the chain game. Pastor Showland, Gene Yeager. I missed the first one. Thanks, guys. Okay, here we go for the Panthers. First and goal just inside the 10-yard line. Leans in the backfield with Justin Tucker, Jared Bauer, the quarterback. Bergen split wide to the right. Bauer gives to Leans. He's hit and dropped for no gain. Elijah Radke in there on the offensive line for Great Plains. Here comes Braden Wenslaff. He'll split wide to the left. Second and goal from the 10. Bauer under center. If to Justin Tucker, hit for a short gain. Falls inside the 10, maybe one, two on the play. Run by Justin Tucker, taken on by number 38, Troy Paul. Third and goal from the eight yard line. Jeremiah Martin's in. Bauer pitches to Leans, trying to get outside left. Not much. Gave him a yard, maybe. Fourth and goal from the eight. Bauer back to pass, throws, incomplete, near the goal line. Martin's the intended receiver. Bauer's pass incomplete to Jeremiah Martin. And Sunshine will take over on downs at the eight yard line with 45 seconds left in the third quarter. Panthers leading 44-0, clock running with the big lead. Bunch of new defenders in there for the Panthers. And uh, we have a timeout. Great Plains will take their second timeout. Our final alumni announcement. Winner in our homecoming alumni prize drawing is Paxton Schmidt. Congratulations, Paxton, from DBL Class 2020. You can select your prize at the alumni table.
All right, the Panthers defense back to work. Sunshine takes over first and 10 at the eight yard line. The Panthers have allowed 52 yards of offense today. That's it. Great team effort. Sunshine Bible packed in tight. Inside handoff. Uh oh, he's on the he's on the loose. That's Troy Paul, and no one's going to catch him. He's going to take this one 92 yards. Touchdown. Ninety-two yard touchdown run for Sunshine Bible. That will extend the game. Makes it forty-four to six. Late third quarter. Sunshine will line up and go for two. Teeman under center, handoff Paul. He's in. Making the score Great Plains 44, Sunshine Bible eight. Nine seconds left, third quarter. And there goes the shutout. Panthers had a chance to walk him off at 50, but couldn't get the ball in the end zone first and goal from the 10. Turned it over on downs and on the first play from scrimmage, Sunshine Bible goes 91 yards. Back deep here for the Panthers will be Lucas Johnson, Micah Holine. See what Sunshine decides to do on this kickoff. Guys up front for the Panthers better be ready. And I can tell you it's not the hands team. So let's see what happens. Kicker is Mitchell. He'll kick it deep towards Holine, and he will pick it up and take off from the goal line. And no, I know, I, I know he was thinking. I know he was thinking. Just maybe I can run this thing back, but he got to the 25-yard line. That ends the third quarter. Great Plains Lutheran, 44. Sunshine Bible Academy, 8. We'll come back for the fourth quarter. Just a moment.
First and 10 from the 25 yard line. Bauer still in at quarterback. Handoff leans, and he gets to the 30. Five yard gain for Grayson. He's a junior. He's been the second half workhorse, him and Justin Tucker. Grayson seven carries now 18 yards. Let's see if he can break one. He's got the speed. Second and five from the 30. Leans in the backfield with Lucas Johnson. Bauer gives to Johnson, tripped up, short gain. Hand off to Lucas Johnson for a short gain on the play, brought down by number 55, Stegelmeyer. I'm not sure there's a starter out there for Great Plains. Grayson might be considered a starter. He's in the he's in the rotation for sure. The other the other eight not so much. So they're getting a lot of playing time here today. Clock is running with 10:48 to play. It will be third and four for Great Plains at the 31 yard line. Leans and Johnson still in the backfield. Jarrett Bauer, the quarterback. He will keep it left side. And he will go down at the line of scrimmage. And the Panthers will bring in the punting unit. So you like seeing backups get in to games like this and see what they can do and coach him up. That's what Coach Schleusner's doing. He's calling the whole offense over to him. And he'll talk about that last series. Meanwhile, the Panthers will be punting. Rubendahl in to punt. No one back deep for Sunshine. It's fourth and four, snap is good. The punt is away. Pretty good spiral. We'll take a sunshine bounce down at the 46 by Miles York. Clock runs, 9.25 to play. A lot of backups in, I think all backups in for Great Plains on defense here. Sunshine will start at the 46 yard line. Last time they touched the ball, it was 91 yards for Troy Paul. He's in the backfield. Quarterback is Teeman. He's from the shotgun. Handoff up the middle. Cross midfield. Aiden Cameron on the tackle. And an injury timeout. That'll stop the clock. It was the ball carrier who stayed down, Ezra Stiglmeyer. That last run by Troy Paul put him over 100 yards. 14 carries, 27, 127 yards. 92 came on one carry. All right, it's good to see Ezra up and walking off. They'll wind the clock. And Sunshine faces second and five from the Great Plains 47, right in front of us. We thank everyone for watching today, wherever you are. I know at least one person's watching from Clear Lake, South Dakota. Hi to you. Here's Paula on the right side, breaking tackles. Bauer is going to help bring him down in the back, in the secondary. Bergen was also there. Big gain. 
Here comes Dylan Yaki for the Panthers. Ball goes down to the 22. First and 10 there for Sunshine. It is a new quarterback. He's from the shotgun. Handoff goes to Michelson. He breaks a tackle, and he's going to get in the end zone for a touchdown. That's Terrence Michelson, 21 yards. The quarterback is Toby Michelson. The running back there was Terrence. And they're both sophomores, so I'm guessing, I'm guessing they're twins. 28 and 44. The clock stops on the touchdown, 7.25 to play. Sunshine will line up, and they'll go for two from a tight formation. Michelson to Paul. He walks in. Two-point conversion is good. Making the score 44 to 16. Panthers one kick return unit will take the field to give these other guys a chance to rest. With second teamers for Great Plains going both ways right now, offense, defense. And so the ones will go in on this kickoff return, let them get a breather. That means Micah Holine will have another chance. He's got four touchdowns today. I know he'd like five. Alex Heil also will be deep on the kick. Mitchell will kick from the 40. We'll see if he kicks it deep or squibs it or onsides it. Deep towards Heil. Oh, he'll let it go, and it will go in the end zone. Touchback. Panthers will start at the 20. See if they can get a first down or two. Bauer will stand at quarterback. Looks like a new running back, Ryan Jenstead. I know him. He'll be in the backfield with Justin Tucker. Clock running, seven minutes to go. Jenstead on the carry, cuts back, cuts back again. Still on his feet. Across the 35. Taken down there. Nice long run, and he stays down. He's down with 6.42 to play in the game.
All right, they'll help him up. All right, the Panthers will, it was a first down run, so the Panthers will take it at the 36 yard line. Tucker taken down after a one yard gain. Second and nine for Great Plains. From the 37, Bauer, handoff. That's Leans. Nice run near a first down. Looks like he's going to be just short. It will be third and one from the 45. Third down and short for the Panthers. Tucker in the backfield with Grayson Leans. Bowers the quarterback. See if they can get one yard. Bauer looks like he's keeping it. He does. He falls ahead and has the first down. Bauer goes up the middle for a Panther. I don't know if they could see it from the field level, but I could see it from here. You could tell Jarrett was going to take that himself. He was leaning. He was leaning. First down for the Panthers. One more might do it. At the 48. Good experience for the second team. This is like a this is like a warm-up for their game on on Monday. Bauer. Handoff Tucker hit and dropped at the line of scrimmage. Justin Tucker, the ball carried down. Connect me on the tackle. Justin gained one yard to the 49. He's coming out. Lucas Johnson will replace Tucker. Bauer back to pass, throws, incomplete for Grayson Leans. Couldn't tell from here. Looked like it was close. Might have hit Grayson's hands. Clock running because of the big lead, even though there's an incomplete pass. Third down and nine coming up from the 48. Bauer's still looking to complete a pass. It's 0 for 2. Brody Charlemagne, the quarterback for the Panthers today, was 2 for 2 passing. Panthers well over 300 yards on the ground today. Bauer back to pass. Here's his attempt for that completion. Overshot his man from the backfield. That was Leans again. It's fourth and nine. I 
I think the Panthers are going to go for it. Diehard fans are still with us on the live stream. Two minutes to go. Panthers 44-16 lead. Bauer back to pass. Let's it fly downfield, and it is caught. Logan Bergen, first down. There's that completion by Bauer to Bergen. Sophomore to a freshman. Gets the ball all the way down inside the 30. Inside the 20. Went for 37 yards down to the 15. A minute 20 to play. Now let's see if the Panthers can get one in. Bauer will pitch. Grayson Leans running left. Brought down near the line of scrimmage. Good open field tackle there. All right, Michelson. It was either that or a touchdown. Gain of one, a minute to play. Time for two plays, unless there's a timeout. Second down and nine for the Panthers. Maybe only one. This could be it, Bauer under center. Give to Leans. Not going to get in. Tackled on the baseball field where the shortstop would play. 20 seconds, clock is running. Panthers are huddling up. See if they, and they're going to try. They're going to get one off. They're going to get one off. 10 seconds. Got to be a clean snap here. And no, they're not. That will do it. Final score from Watertown Stadium. Great Plains Lutheran 44, Sunshine Bible Academy 16. Big win for the Panthers on homecoming. Micah Holine, six carries, 150 yards, four touchdowns. Panthers led 44-0 at halftime. Sunshine Bible got a couple of second half scores. Thanks for watching today. And we'll see you next time. Great Plains Lutheran Athletics.